Hello there, you guys. Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Animal Crossing. I'm so used to seeing visiting your dream towns. So today started off kind of on a bad foot. I decided to record today. I wasn't originally going to. Uh, I came out of my tent. I had a whole cutscene with with Pete. I read this letter to you guys, and then I looked over, and I realized I didn't have Audacity running to record my voice. So that that's fun. <laughs> Anyways, let me read this over again for you guys this time. Uh, to Crystal, congrats on your newfound mayorhood. To be honest, I was supposed to become the mayor, but one thing led to another, and now it's all up to you. I'm rooting for you. Keep it a secret. Okay, so that's kind of, kind of weird. <laughs> um, I honestly, I got maybe like two minutes in and then I realized you guys didn't miss very much. Um, we have a new resident, it seems, Pajmina, who I believe is, um, a sheep or a goat. I can never remember. <laughs> anyway, oh hi Poppy. How are you doing today, buddy? Hey there, Crystal. How's it going, hey? So, what can I do for you? Ah, uh, wanna chat? A mayor should talk to all the people in town. Actually, everyone here likes blabbing, so don't be shy. People would be more than happy to share tips with you about settling into life here. We're all really excited to see how Rosewolf will change with you here. Anyway, if there's still something you need help with, you should talk to Isabel at the town hall. She'll probably give you lots of advice on town life. Okay, so maybe, hopefully, we'll be able to get a watering can today by doing her little, uh, quest type things. Is this Poppy's house? Okay, good. Now I know. I still need to kind of get the lay of the land here. I don't know. Oh, this is why we need the watering can. Uh, I don't know, uh, who lives where and all that kind of stuff. Oh, you're in here, whoever you are. Hello, hello there. Uh, welcome to my house, Crystal. What would you like to talk about? Uh, I want to chat. You're all settled in now, aren't you, Crystal? Well, now comes the real question. How do you want to decorate? Because whether you're in a tent or a mansion, you have options. Go see Timmy and Tommy on Main Street for all kinds of furniture and other knickknacks. If you want to upgrade the look of your home or make it bigger, Nook's Homes is the place to visit. Well, thank you. For, uh, for the next little while while talking to uh, our villagers, they're pretty much just going to give us um, tutorial type info. Um, I think if you talk to them multiple times during the day, they they kind of spread off from that, but pretty much how it's going to be for the first little while, so <laughs> if you guys aren't new to the series, you probably already know everything they're going to say. Um, so let's remember the snowball here and actually try to make a snowman today instead of breaking it. <laughs> that was... Kind of terrible yesterday. Um, so usually I start off uh, my town or my day in town by doing uh, my daily chore type stuff. So looking around for fossils, keeping flowers neat. Obviously, so far we have very few flowers, and they're just the ones that uh, kind of spawned in. <laughs> we don't have any hybrids or anything like that. Oh, again, we need the watering can so badly. So I think we're gonna focus on doing whatever Isabel asks of us today. Or bam. Hey, Crystal. But it like this makes me want to work my core. Uh, what you need? I want to chat. Here's a workout that really pays off. There's a tree with a fruit on it. Okay, so he's just going to tell us about picking fruit. <laughs> and stuff you pick up, you can sell to retail. Yep. I think we got that, buddy, but thank you for... Thank you for trying to explain. <laughs> okay. So we don't even have the bug net yet, so we can't even catch that. I'm still not exactly sure which rocks are real and which aren't, so that's also going to be fun. You're real. That's really unfortunate placement. I don't like that at all, actually. Oh boy, we have work to do, that's for sure. I hope, by the way, you guys like the uh, kind of updated background. Again, made by a very wonderful viewer mod, pretty much close friend by now, uh, Poco Joe. Another YouTuber, by the way, go check out his channel. Shameless plug. <laughs> um, what did we do? We did something. <laughs> did we do something last time? I, I don't even remember. Uh, yes, town pass card. Yep, I get it. Sm oh, okay. I guess we did everything. Okay, so let's see, what do we have here? 
having a bad day, I need to release some of that pent up frustration, go and smash some rocks. That's what we plan on doing. Um, catch koi, fishing in the morning or evening. We probably won't be able to do that today. Donate a work of art to the museum. I don't think we're gonna have art today unless Nook is, or um, Reed is in, or Red, however you want to say his name, is, a, is in town. And tap it eight times for an extra special prize. Oh, that's gonna be f Why are you beeping? Did I do more? <laughs> did I do stuff without realizing it? I think I did. Okay, you're just, you're just giving out coupons now? Is that what it is? Anyways. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So we only have one fossil so far out of four, usually, so <laughs> we're off to kind of a weird start. Once we uh, get the lay of the land, we should be able to figure out where more stuff is. I'm gonna have to cut these all down, too. They're right in the middle of the bridge. Not such a good place. Uh, you're looking so you today, Crystal. Oh, so what's going on? Uh, let's chat. Your house probably isn't totally full yet, but keep in mind how full retail- or how useful retail is. You can sell the stuff you don't want there, so you'll make space for any new things you find. Plus, you'll totally buy almost anything. It's like, so convenient. I've had a few people who've actually asked me for Flora in the comment section. I still don't know if I like her or not, so... We'll see how that goes. Oh, no. Get out. We do not want, uh... Weeds in our town. We are... Aiming for the perfect town right off the bat, I'm telling you guys. <laughs> I have a quite, a, I would say, well-known video on it that a lot of people on this channel found me by, so I can't really uh, mess up now, can I? Okay, second fossil. But uh, but yeah, this this background made by Hokujo, it's a uh, it's a lot better than the one I made. I like it much more. Um, I think it's it's just I don't know it's cute it's uh, the correct sizing for the screen is always very important and uh, again he he went with my uh, my theme oh there we go my theme of um, the different seasons depending on where we are in the let's play sort of thing so hopefully we make it again until next winter I'm really I kind of want to do this series for a year and see where we get, um, but it's the sort of thing where like if the switch is suddenly pushed out and then Animal Crossing comes out as like a launch title, which I, I doubt would ever happen, then I would probably switch over to that, but for now I'm pretty happy with this. So let's put away this money. I think that was one of our objectives, I believe, so I like this rock here though, that's really nice. Like. Not nice in terms of, like, that close to the, uh, plaza, but it's nice in terms of, like, hitting it from, uh, getting all eight money bags sort of thing. Oh! Would you look at that? <laughs> I guess we're gonna buy some art today. I'm terrible at remembering which is, uh, real and which isn't for the most part, so bear with me on that one. And this- this was Flora's house, wasn't it? I think- <sighs> It's gonna take me a while to get used to where everything is, but I will get there. Anyway, let's go let's go check out what Reed has since we do have a little bit of money from that rock. Oh, could this be your first time here meeting old Red? I I wanna call him Reed, but I, I think it's supposed to be Red. Well, ain't that lovely. I'm always happy to meet fellow art lovers. This is Red's Gallery, where we specialize exclusively in the finest art you'll ever see in this world. This is your one and only chance to buy a piece of famous art for a bargain that can only be crazy. But of course, since they are all really rare items, we only sell one item per customer. Why, you ask? Because a bargain this crazy wouldn't be fair without some limits. I'd be penniless. So come on in, don't be shy, look all around you want. Yeah, uh... This guy is shady AF, if you know what I mean. Oh gosh, I always- I never ever get these right if I'm just guessing. I think this one is fake. Um, I think there's supposed to be two... Humans? Creatures? I'm not sure exactly what that's even supposed to be. 
this one, there's something to do with the creature or the cat or whatever it is in her arms. And I forget if it's the cat that's real or I think it's like a ferret or something on the other one. And then this one looks the most real to me, but I'm not sure. There are some that aren't fake. So I think I'll just go with this one. And if I'm wrong, hey, you know what? I can just like put it in my house and I can appreciate it for what it is. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, and look at that. We still have enough for our uh, our down payment today, which is something I really want to get paid off so that we can start working on our house. He, it's just a lot of talking, saying that he's going to deliver it by mail. That's all we're missing there. <laughs> Okay, um, that tree grew, like, fast. I just want to point that out. <laughs> um, we already got the, uh, the money rock for today, but we're missing two fossils. So hopefully they're up in this corner and we didn't just miss them. Uh, Rosef announces that Crystal has assumed the role of town mayor. Let's look forward to her plans to enliven the town. Awesome. Okay, I guess not. That really sucks. I hate not being able to find all of the fossils. But then again, since I'm just starting in this town, it's going to take me a really long time before I really get a feel for all the trees and all the places I should be looking behind, that kind of stuff, so... Let's just go hand in what we have. If we find the others on our, like, adventures across Rosewolf today, then... <laughs> then, uh, then we'll hand them in. Okay, so let me just put that away. No need to run with a shovel out. Okay, yes, I want to assess a fossil or two. Unfortunately, I wish we had all four, but, uh, it's okay. All of these are rare fossils not yet found in our museum's collection. I thought so. <laughs> you can take them. I wish there was, like, a menu here where it could be like, oh, no, you just take them. We don't want them back even, but instead we have to go through all this dialogue and an additional menu. Oh, well. At least Blathers is a lot better than he used to be. He used to just- you couldn't skip past his dialogue. He had something huge to say about every little piece. You had to get them, uh, mailed to a faraway museum to have them analyzed, and then he would only take them one at a time. It was- it was a hassle. <laughs> okay, there's that done for today. So weird looking on uh, on Main Street. Nothing is open yet. <laughs> okay, so let's not run on this grass or snow, ground, whatever you want to call it. I really don't want to uh, promote too much grass wear before we decide where our paths are going to be, if you know what I mean. Okay, I've done stuff, apparently. I think it was the rock thing, though, wasn't it? Look at us, just flying through this. Hopefully there's stuff we actually want to buy at the at the uh, campsite. So, uh, I think we should probably go talk to Isabel. She said uh, before I logged into the game that there was stuff that uh, she wanted to go over with me. Oh, Mirror Crystal! Have you settled and finished unpacking? Ah, uh, sure, there wasn't really much to unpack. Wow, really? You must be really efficient when it comes to moving. My bedroom is completely full of unpacked cardboard boxes and it feels like I moved so long ago. Sorry, please don't tell my brother. I don't let him into my room for just that reason. Right. I was gonna tell you about the town hall. 
For starters, right now you're standing at the service counter. This is the information hub of Rosewolf. I provide a variety of services at the service counter, such as giving people advice for living in town. I also listen to requests to change the town tune and flag, and I report on citizen satisfaction. However, to get advice or provide input, you'll need to stand at the counter just like everybody else. Where you're standing right now is actually is perfect, actually. Now then, moving on to your responsibilities as mayor. Oh, I almost forgot. Before you can start laying out your vision for Rosewolf, you'll need a town development permit. Getting a permit takes a bit of work, but don't worry, I'll help you out. That's what I'm here for. Uh, sounds good. You know, I just love your can-do attitude, Mayor Crystal. Now then, there are a variety of special chairs in the back of this room that are reserved for the mayor. Oh, there is a very special chair, not a variety. I was like, I have chairs to choose from since when? Uh, that's you. Uh, when you need to work on official mayoral business, just sit in that chair and I'll help you out. And come see me when I'm not overly busy so we can get started on your town development permit. Um, how about now? Hello, Mirror Crystal. Is there something you'd like to inquire about? Uh, let's do... Advice for living here. Okay, I can give you advice on making the most of your life here. After all, it's my job to make being a resident in Rose make sure being a resident in Rosewolf is top notch, Crystal. However, I might need to get really detailed and talk for long periods of time. So you know, it might be hard to listen to me go on and on. If you're in a hurry, hold down B. I like how she tells me just to skip past her dialogue. Let's see. What kind of advice would be good for you right now? Come to think of it, do you feel like you've gotten to know anyone, everyone in town now? I bet all our residents wish they could become better friends with you, Crystal. If you see people from town walking around, feel free to stop them for a chat. What else? Oh, I got it. Crystal, have you ever written a letter before? Everyone in town loves letters. Even close neighbors often send letters to each other just because. We really do have a fantastic postal system, if I can boast for a moment or two. If you want to write a letter, you'll need some stationery. If you're okay with regular lined paper, I have some to give you. Uh, I want you to put it to good use. You can use letters to greet new neighbors, introduce yourself, or for any reason whatsoever. Anyone would be happy to get a handwritten letter from you. However, sometimes town so get so happy they show off old letters they get to other people. I'd advise you not to write anything you wouldn't want others to see. Just assume everyone will read it. When you want to write a letter, press OK. Just tutorial. <laughs> OK, so what we're doing right now is kind of like her... Uh, her little quest at the beginning, usually, I think you get like, um, a watering can if you're doing it all, I believe. It's been a very long time since I started over at town. Um, so, hopefully we get it, because I really would like to start getting hybrids. That's just me, though. Personally, I really like having flowers all over my town. Uh, so we're gonna write to Bam, and we're just gonna say thanks for welcoming me to Rose Woof exclamation mark <laughs> okay very short very simple but uh I think it'll be good enough by her standards One other little thing I want to do right now is uh, go up to this corner right here. I should probably put it actually on the corner up above, so let me go up there real quick. Basically, um, if you guys aren't aware, once a day a pitfall will just spawn underground in your town. Um, so while digging you can find it. Oh gosh, okay, we're getting this already. Anyways, let me finish this, real, this thought really quick. Um, you can either find it by digging it or by falling in it, so uh, preferably if you can dig it up, you can bury it in like a far corner of your town and then no other ones will spawn uh, day after day after day, right? So 
You won't fall in all the time is what I'm saying. I use it uh, to my advantage in my other town, so I think I'll do it in this one as well. And it is 1 p.m., as I can hear by the bell. Um, let's see. I'm sorry to bother you when you're in the middle of something, but would you please come over here? Over... Ah, no, 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 over here, sorry. Oh, um... Yes, you're on the right track, just a bit more this way. Okay... Oh! Oh, thank goodness! Well, hello, as you can see, I'm a lamp. I mean, I'm inside a lamp. Rather important distinction. Anyway, I feel a bit awkward asking for another favor, but would you mind rescuing me? That's right, just pick up the lamp and take it somewhere quiet, like your house, for example. I'll make it worth your while, what do you say? Uh, sure. Really? You'll do it? Oh, thank you so much. I'm a bit shy and I don't love wide open spaces like this. You never know who's looking at you funny. Alright, I'll leave it to you. Well, I mean, you know, I'll take him back to my tent, but I don't, I don't, I don't have a house yet. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that is, if you guys have not seen it yet, uh, part of the new Amiibo, or I think it's just called Welcome Amiibo Update. Oops, I, did, I didn't mean to bury him, that was... That would have been bad. Um, but yeah, now I won't trip on this pitfall. I have no reason to go into that specific corner of town, so that's perfect, right? Um, but yeah, that's part of the welcome amiibo update. That would be Wisp. If you guys have played previous games, he is uh, a ghost villager. So let's drop off this letter and then we'll go put him in our house and do that whole thing. <laughs> this episode is probably going to go on for a bit longer than I intended. I meant it to be, like, I mean these episodes to be, like, maybe 20 to 30 minutes long each, but, um, I think in the early stages I'm gonna be filming quite frequently, as in maybe every other day or every day, um, and then, uh, for longer periods of time just to get the town off on its, off on its way, basically. Uh, I wanna send mail. Uh, person in Rose Wolf. Okay, so Bam is gonna get a letter at some point. Okay, and if you notice I went over here, I'm just extremely used to depositing or withdrawing money. When I go in here, I don't usually send letters. <laughs> That's just a habit, I guess you could say. Okay, so drop Wisp off at our tent <laughs> and then we can uh, we can get on with what Isabel wants us to do other than sending letters to people. Hello there, Poppy. Oh, I'm not used to having bird villagers in my town. She leaves cute little, like, talon? I don't even know what bird's feet are called, like claw marks <laughs> on the ground instead of just little footprints. That's really cute. And our perfect tree- oh! Hey! <laughs> Yay, we found another one! That was a really obvious spot, how did I miss that? I guess I didn't go around here very much anyway. Let's, uh, let's drop Wisp off. Uh... Display, there we go. Are you happy? <laughs> do, do you need anything? Can I turn you? There we go. Ta-da! So, you've summoned me, but I don't believe we've met. I am Wisp, the Lamp Spirit. Nice to meet you. So, should we grant some wishes or what? Let's get into it. Wait, why am I all sleazy like this? What's happening? Ah, I know just the thing. If you have an amiibo, I could just sort of possess another person. It's not as awkward as it sounds, trust me. So if you have a- yeah, we're probably not gonna do this, you guys. <laughs> no, never mind. If it wants to let me, never mind. <laughs> there we go, I have to hold it down. I just wanted to talk to him. But uh, yeah, I do have a, a card reader and all that jazz from- uh, 
Happy Home Designer, and it does work. I've tried it in my other one, but I don't really have amiibo cards. I have really no interest in amiibos, so I probably will not be doing that. Okay, what next? Hello, Mayor Crystal. Ah, uh, yes, advice for living here, once again. Okay, I can give you advice on how to make the most of your life. Hmm. That reminds me. Are you all set on how to mail letters? Yep. Uh, new advice, please. I can do that. Huh, then... Ah, I know. Crystal, have you been to the beach yet? This town has two slopes you can use to get down to the beach. If you have a fishing rod or a wetsuit, you can fish or dive and have a lot of fun down there. It's so relaxing to just listen to the waves and walk along the beach collecting seashells. Oh, I know. If you have time, why don't the two of us go down there together right now? It'd be nice to find a seashell and take it home as a souvenir of our little trip. Oh my, I should apologize. That was too bold of me, wasn't it? Really, it would be enough if from time to time you press Y to quickly pick up some seashells. If you happen to go down to the beach remember, that would be a nice thing to do for me. Alright, so let's go get her a seashell, because we're nice to our uh, to our secretary. Honestly, she does most of the work in this town, so <laughs> she should probably be mayor herself. Just saying, we probably should uh, sell some of the stuff we've picked up as well at some point, but we'll go a bit later. Also, don't let me forget to make that other snowman and actually like, you know, hopefully not break him this time. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. I've done that on stream before, too. It's rather awkward. Ah, uh, this one will do. I'm just gonna move this one slightly away from the water. I don't want uh, a dung beetle, which is actually a bug that you can find in this game, uh, rolling that snowball into the river or the uh, the pond for us. Okay. Uh, advice for living here. Have you been to the beach yet? Our town has two slopes, yes, okay. Yes. Okay, seashell, here you go. Ah, oh, so let's give her that. Oh my, you actually remember to bring me a seashell? Thank you so much, I'll put it in my room, take good care of it. I think decorating a room with a seashell, or with seashells, can make for a very interesting des interior design. Also, you can sell- oh gosh, sell seashells at the recycle shop for a handful of bells. Crystal, I'd love for you to see all sorts of different shells and find the ones you like the most. I know, please take this as thanks for the seashell. Yeah, we got peaches. <laughs> My mom recently sent me a box with a peach. Actually, she sent three. And she specifically told me I should share them with good people because that's what good puppies are. With people, not just with good people, just people in general. Because uh, that's what good puppies do. This town is known for the pear because it's the local fruit. But my hometown is famous for the peach. I'm sharing them with you so you can eat them, sell them, plant them, or do whatever you like. By the way, if you sell them, you'll get more bells than when you sell a regular old pear. I hear there are people who grow a lot of rare fruits like these in order to make a nice living for themselves. Crystal, why not give it a try? If you have a shovel, it's actually quite easy to plant and grow them. Okay, so now she's probably gonna give us a tutorial on digging. Or on the shop, who knows. <laughs> okay, so let's uh let's actually go plant that because uh we do want to eventually have all of the fruit trees available to us, not just for like selling purposes, but for like, I don't know, aesthetic purposes? It'd look nice. I kind of want to put one right here, but I know we're going to have a path here eventually, so. Uh, let's see. We could put one up here. It's kind of barren here. Eh, I don't know if I like that spot. 
This one will do. It's not too close to the river. There's space all around, so it will grow. But, uh, but yeah, this will promise us having, uh, having more different types of fruits in our town other than pears. Let's plant one here. It's kind of barren. We could probably go over here by the uh, the plaza. Yeah, this seems like an empty enough area to me. There we go. That's exactly what we wanted to do. So let's head back to Isabel. I I believe there's something else she'll ask you to do, or that you can do, in order to get a watering can, which is what we really want to get. How to teach you how to plant trees. Well, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Thank you, Isabel. I got it. Okay. Something else, please. I got it. <laughs> That reminds me. If you have a shovel, uh, okay. You can also dig up things that were previously buried. Do you want a chance to know how to dig things up? I could teach you if you'd like. I, I already know how. Thank you, Isabel. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Please use your shovel to dig up all sorts of things. I can't think of anything else I need to tell you about shovels, so let me think of some other advice to give. Hmm. Why don't we talk about some of the things people do for fun in our town? This area has a lot of natural resources, so you can find many different kinds of fish and bugs. That's why there are so many people who've made fishing or bug catching their hobby. Actually, it's more than a hobby. Everyone around here makes a lot of money catching fish and bugs. You can find fishing rods for fishing or for fishing and nets for bug catching at Timmy and Tommy's store periodically. If you see them, be sure to pick them up right away. Since it's winter right now, you can't find many bugs outside, so I recommend, or I'd recommend fishing at the moment. Crystal, what do you think you'd like to try first? Uh, so, I'm pretty sure she either gives you a fishing rod or a bug net, and we already have a fishing rod, so I'm gonna say bug catching, even if it is the middle of winter. Why don't you use this as an opportunity to take your, make your debut as a bug catcher? Crystal, have you ever tried, or, okay, yes. <laughs> Thank you. So, get a net and then catch at least three different kinds of bugs, then come show me your encyclopedia. If you find it difficult to get your hands on net, come back and let me know. Yeah, we don't have to buy it if we do these things, so that's why I'm doing it right now. <laughs> uh, I guess I can just talk to her again? Uh, I can't buy a net. Why don't you come buy one of the ones- Oh wait, we do have to buy one for her, don't we? It's okay. <laughs> I think I used this just to get it. Um, because the first time I was playing this, they just would not stock fishing rods. And it was terrible. But there we go, now we got our net. Three different kinds of bugs, I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. I think it, we only pretty much have the pill bug right now. <laughs> uh, let's see what she says if we tell her that we can't catch... ...bugs. Oh, okay, well she's good. Okay, never mind. <laughs> this is fine. Okay. We got this, Isabel. Thank you for all the tutorial. <laughs> Oh gosh, she's gonna... She's gonna tell me again. <laughs> oh boy, maybe I should have chose fishing instead. This is- this is awkward. Alright, let's try and catch stuff, because I know we can catch 
probably the, I think they're called wharf roaches on the beach, and the pill bug from rocks, but that's all I know right now. <laughs> so, speak of the devil. Oops. I'm terrible at bug catching, by the way, if I ever told you guys that. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I guess we have to be faster next time. Can't even catch one that wasn't, you know, moving or flying. I couldn't even, couldn't even catch that. <laughs> but they will uh, randomly kind of pop out of rocks, so no need to worry. Ugh, weeds! Get out of my town. <laughs> Not cool, man. Ah, there we go. Really? There we go. I don't know why that was so difficult. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. Alrighty, so we should probably go donate that along with the fossil at some point. Um, I think we can catch something on the beach and I think that's really about it. Honestly, I don't know if we're going to be able to complete this. Oh, one of these might actually start moving. I think... Does that count as a bug? I can't remember. Ugh. Did it really just go into the wall? Seriously? <laughs> oh well, they'll pop up randomly again like, uh, like the pill bugs, so it's no big deal. <laughs> I hate those bugs so much. Do you want to start moving? No? I was hoping one of these would move because sometimes I think it, it... I don't think a hermit crab is technically a bug. I don't know what it classifies as in this game. <laughs> okay, please. Morph roach or... I think that's what they're called at least. I always- I'm so used to scaring them away on the island, it's like my habit to clunk down the neck near them and, and not try and catch them, just try and scare them away. Which, uh, we will have to go to when we- when we finally unlock it. I hate bug catching. <laughs> It's probably gonna be like the last encyclopedia we finish in this in this let's play. All right, you know what? One more sweep up the beach. If not, then uh, we're gonna head up and probably pay off our our down payment. That would probably be a good thing to do. At the same time, as handing a whole bunch of stuff to the museum. Okay, that's kind of unfortunate. Also, there's probably the. Uh, dung beetle bugs that we could probably catch, but uh, I don't feel like they're that common to pop up, if you know what I mean, so that probably won't happen. Where did that other snowball? No, it's not moving. You can probably- you can usually tell if there is a dung beetle there, just if the ball is moving on its own sort of thing. Okay, let's just head up and uh, pay off this. In the sake of, uh, in, if, in the sake of, like, you know, getting stuff done on time. <laughs> How do I not have enough bells? What is this? <laughs> oh gosh. I thought I had enough. I bought the net. That's what happened. Oh gosh. That, that blows. I have stuff to sell though, so I should be fine. Oh, I thought we could do it right away. I shouldn't have walked by retail. <laughs> if you guys are wondering, by the way, if you guys don't remember rather, I guess, it is, uh, it's 10k for the down payment. Uh, assess the fossil, please. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, go ahead. See, he lets you do that if you're just donating one fossil, but multiples, he won't let you. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, take take this pill bug from me. I don't want it, really. She just checks the encyclopedia, not, like, to see if you actually still have the bugs, so... Ah, oh, no thank you. Okay. So I guess, let's see, what do I have? I have a good no, few number of things to sell, so I should probably be just fine for money. So let's go check out what we can purchase. If anything. We have both of those items. In terms of these, I don't really want to get into fortune cookies. I don't think I want a Nintendo room. Uh, eh, nah. I don't like any of this. I think we're good. And also, let's not forget to talk to- I believe it's Sable, I always forget. <laughs> um, just that we can hopefully unlock the, uh, the sewing machine in, I think it was, what, like seven days, if that. Okay, so that was all we need to do. <laughs> it's pretty simple. I don't like any of those items of clothing. And I think we're good for all of these as well. It's not a really good shopping day, is it? <laughs> Okay, um, let's see here. I'm gonna sell some stuff. Let me organize my pockets real quick because I don't like it when they get unorganized, <laughs> I guess. Remove equipment, there we go. Okay, so I'm guessing this episode is probably going to go up a bit later on in the day. I just uploaded um, a Dreamtown video for you guys that just filmed a very long time ago. Um, and uh, this is probably going to take me a while to edit and, uh, and upload, just given the amount of time <laughs> I've put into this episode so far. I did not mean it to go on this long. This is not what it was meant to be, but... I guess, you know, Animal Crossing has different plans. <laughs> okay, so these rubies and these pe Oops, I pressed B. Gosh darn it, Reese, I blame you. Okay, there we go. Yep, I will take that amount of bills, thank you very much. Now we have enough to pay off that down payment. <laughs> I think uh, off camera I will try and work a bit more on the on the bugs that Isabel wanted. Um, I know that I can do it. It's just getting it, getting three of them will probably take a very, very, very long time. But I will let you guys know next episode if I'm successful with that. Um, there probably are going to be times where I'm going to be working on the town in between episodes, just probably boring stuff like placing down paths, that kind of stuff. Um, so I hope you guys are fine with that. I might film like snippets of it so that you guys can see what I've done between episodes, but uh, I'm not too sure how I'm going to structure this yet, <laughs> so we shall see. Okay. Uh, down payment. There you go, in full. You brought the money? Let's have a look, huh? Uh, I guess that's exactly 10,000 bells. It does make me rather happy. Very good, very good. The money makes everything official and work on your house can begin at once. You can also choose the color of your newly built home's roof. So what color will it be? Uh, you know, we're just gonna go with blue because I will change it as, uh, as I get the chance. 
What else to tell you? Oh yes, yes, of course. I must tell you all about home remodeling. Once your house is finished, I can help you update the exterior. The exterior of a home consists of the things on the outside, such as your roof, door, and fence. Every day I will display new samples here to look through, so you should come when you're grown curious. Well, for the moment, you must be looking forward to tomorrow, yes? Thanks much. Mm. Woo! Paid the down payment. I'll be able to move into my home tomorrow. Alright, awesome. So clearly, they're going to work around my sleeping body. Because obviously, I need to sleep in that tent. Um, I'm just gonna wake up in a fairly done house, because... Like, you know, who who else could, uh, who else, could, like, who wouldn't sleep through, like, you know, power tools and construction sounds and all that? <laughs> okay. So, I think, I think we're gonna have to call it here, you guys. We've done quite a bit. We got a lot done for Isabel. We've donated a few other things to the museum. We now have peaches growing in our town. I didn't do the snowman. Should I do the snowman? We can do the snowman real quick. Um, next time, I think... I'm gonna have to, like, schedule days where we're just gonna, like, maybe do our chores and then fish. <laughs> and, like, or bug hunt in, in the summer and spring and etc. Because, uh, I do want to get it fully completed, if possible, in a year. I've never done that before. Um, I think it'd be cool if I didn't miss a single bug. I'm probably gonna have to, like, make a list of everything I need for a season. Or per month. <laughs> um, but I think that'd be fun to do with you guys. So, let's not break our snowman this time. And, uh, yeah, in between episodes I will try my best to, uh, to get that watering can for us, because we really should be, uh, starting on that, in my opinion. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't think, uh, the Nucklings sell just watering cans willy-nilly, if you know what I mean, so... I believe it's- you need Leaf's Garden Shop to open before you can purchase it? I- I believe. I could be wrong. I might be wrong, who knows. Okay, so let's not break this one. <laughs> this time, that was... It was so sad last time, and I've done that so many times, so it's just like... I don't know, how can I... Oh gosh, how can I be so bad at this? Okay. Slot it through here. Oh gosh, okay. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Crisis averted. I don't want this head to be too large, that's why I'm kind of rolling it over dirt patches. It might end up being too big. I don't know, we'll see. Oh. You are not who I meant to build. It's the little details that matter, you know, like making my head the right size for my body. Yeah, I, I wasn't... Oh gosh. But I shouldn't complain, you did bring me to life, right? That was a pretty cool thing to do. Well? I mean, I made one. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I think we are going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, I think, I I guess tomorrow we'll come back and I'll have the uh, the watering can for you guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time.